Hey, Curtis, at the Shit Hits the Fan Farm, are you doing anything to protect your squash with regards to squash vine borers? I have raised beds and let them sprawl into the yard where they root along the stem, which can sometimes prevent them from succumbing to the, the borers. Uh, I still find it quite the chore having to extract the larva using a piece of wire. At your farm, are you using landscape fabric, which I presume presents the squash from rerooting along the stem? How do you prevent the borers from attacking the squash? Do you use insect netting to, uh, or compensate for the loss over planting? So, Mike, we don't get squash borers. That isn't really a pest that's up here. Uh, it might be in some conditions, maybe some farmers have been planting squash in the same place for a long time. I've never, I, I'm aware of that pest. I've seen that in Southern parts of the United States, but that's not a pest we have up here. So that's just not an issue for us. Um, and so, yeah, I don't really know how to help you there. I think what you're saying, your intuition is that letting it sprawl out and then it reroots that's probably a good thing because then it, it's kind of diversifying its root structure um but uh it's tricky to use insect netting with uh squash that creeps because it creeps out right and so that's a challenge there um you might and i couldn't imagine it being economical to cover squash in a caterpillar tunnel with insect netting it might be it might be but at two bucks a pound, which is the going rate for organic winter squash out here, I can't imagine that being economical to waste that material and time to, to do that. Um, so yeah, trust your gut and, and see what other growers in your area are doing. But we, we haven't done that. Our squash is just let it roam. It's actually becoming a problem because it's, cr I, I don't think next year I won't do it the same up there. I'm going to put our squash in one block. I, I, won't, um, I won't do it the way we did it. Well, the way we did it made sense when we were setting up the, the farm. We had space between the, the, the greenhouse blocks, and so we, oh, let's put squash in there. Uh, I would only do that with a uh, bush variety squash. I wouldn't do it with a creeping variety. It's been a pain in the butt. My new uh, plantings, I did my fall plantings a few weeks ago. All my carrots, I put some more, more romaine in, beets, uh, and stuff like that and the squash is creeping into those blocks and it's annoying i gotta have clinton go up there and uh manage that today or maybe tomorrow so yeah i i'm gonna i'm gonna isolate my squash on on the new on my new homestead my strategy for squash is going to be put it in the areas that i don't really care about uh, I'm not going to dedicate any garden beds to squash. So garden beds and, and same with cannabis, like uh, cannabis is going to grow like trees. Uh, I'll put squash in areas where there's trees and where it's kind of wild and maybe rocky. All I'll focus on is making a, you know, a, a, a nice uh, pots worth of soil prepped, nice compost and fertilizer in there, plant the squash and just let it grow wherever the hell it grows. That's what I'm going to do next year. That's what the native Americans did actually. They, the, the, some of you might be familiar with the three sisters garden or the three sisters uh, planting where you have corn, bean, and squash. And that's what they did. They would go and they'd, they'd just go into prairie areas into grass and then they'd cultivate like a dish of soil, a bowl or a mound of soil. And then they'd plant the corn in the center and they'd put the squash on the edge. The squash would just go out and, and smother grass and weeds. And then the, the beans would be in there and it would climb up the corn. And so um, it's a neat idea, actually. And uh, they just set it and forget it. And then they come back, they'd go and they'd go and follow their bison or buffalo. And then they'd come back and harvest it later in the, in the fall. And so it's kind of a neat thing. And we might do that up at the homestead, too.